Hello, this is a tutorial on how to use the College Board application. The first screen that you see after selecting the College Board app on your mobile device is going to be the login screen. Students and other users are required to have a, an account with the College Board in order to use the College Board app. That must be done at the collegeboard.org prior to using the app. Um, there is a sign up option with the application here on the mobile device as well. Before the before this video I have created an account to use so I will go ahead and log in with my information. After you click sign in you are going to come to the main for students page. This is if you set up your account as a student. Um, you are also able to do this as a professional, as a high school professional, as well as a college professional. But today we'll be taking a look at the app from the student's perspective. The first thing that I would like to review is the wealth of information on the main page you notice that there are some things to help students get organized there's a plan an action plan for them to as far as searching for colleges taking assessments for colleges applying visiting and being accepted there's also a tool called my college quick start which is free to all students who take the PSAT and that tool actually provides individual information to students based on their scores and also gives them some targeted information to study before they take the actual SAT. Some SAT information here and then a place for my colleges. This is after a student has searched for colleges. They can save colleges there so it'll be quick to easy to get there. Also on this page they have a general search for finding colleges. You can do it by college name or you can search by state, location, or major and there's some other options there, size of college and things like that. In the middle right now is the advanced placement portion. This is important because advanced placement scores are released in July. So this part of the screen changes throughout the year. Right now a big chunk of students is interested or are interested in advanced placement scores. So that's why that's there. Here's, some, here's a place to get your scores. There's a place to prepare for the AP test and also some guidance on what scores um, equate to what credit. Also in the middle panel here you see college planning tools. The College Board uses a program called Big Future and this app will directly link students up to Big Future which helps them explore college information. The right column here actually talks about the SAT and the SAT subject tests. Um, it provides dates, it provides some practice information, how to send scores to colleges and schools, and the new updates to the SAT. And then finally there are some student tools here um, that, they, that students can use for different aspects um, of the college search process. Um, at the bottom there are some just general links to the College Board's website and to their programs. That's just an overview of what's on the home page or the landing page for students for this College Board app. First thing, or the second thing we'll go over is actually some resources and how to use the SAT resources. So there are many different ways to get to different portions of the site. The top toolbar here always provides the main um, sections of the College Board app. However, you can also find the same um, sections and links to them throughout the app. So we're going to find some information on SAT first. So we'll click SAT. When we do that, the SAT landing page appears. Um, lots of options here for students to link to their Twitter or to um, get an account, sign up for the SAT word of the day over here for their home page practice. Lots of options, um, too many options to explore every single one. But I do want to give you a tutorial on some of the more meaningful experiences that students can have with this app. First in the middle here, practice is a great section for students to practice for the SAT. 
For example, here I'm going to click on free sample SAT questions or tap that on your mobile device. When you come here, you're going to see kind of a preparation piece for students telling them that there are how many tests there are for the reading test, how many minutes to be prepared to test, what kind of questions over here for each test. Over to the right, you have practice now. And this is where you'll actually see test questions. So for the reading test, we will click Practice Now and take a look at what some of the questions are like. Here are some directions, and these are the actual directions students will see on test day. And after we read the directions, we can click Example, Try It Now. And again, here's even more information that's going to be provided. Um, this particular test question is based on a passage that would have been presented. Um, and then here you can read the test question and answer choices. And then you can click the submit button to kind of test whether you got that correct or not. And of course here we're just checking answer choice C. I did not get that correct. Um, important part of that um, question of course was the passage so if I were to click start practicing I could go to the uh, view passage button here because if I were really using this as a practice tool or if a teacher or counselor was using this to prepare I would need that passage in order to see um, if my student was properly prepared so this is an actual example of a real test question that um, students can use to study for the SAT Okay, I'm going to go back. Oops. Um, let's go back and take a look at another feature that the SAT has to offer. I'm going to go back to the SAT landing page by clicking the top button there. And I'm going to come down and take a look at some more options here. Okay, I can see a free sample test if I want to see a full test. Um, they have official courses online that I can go to and official study guides. Those, of course, cost, but the other two do not. Um, one other piece here that I wanted to demonstrate was the SAT study plan. So if a student's not sure where to begin and they want to know what to do, they can come and tap this SAT study plan. This plan is going to take you to simple questions here. Um, the students will answer these simple questions. So which test will you take? We're going to take, click that, and we're going to tap SAT. How many times have you taken it? Well, we're going to assume that we have not taken it at all, so I'm going to tap uh, never. And then when will you take it? And I'm going to tap more than three months from now. And then I'm going to click go, or tap go. And now the app is going to provide me with some examples of things to put in my action plan to get myself ready for the SAT. Um, here's some examples. Personalize my practice. Um, it's encouraging if I've used the PSAT, it's telling me to use this program, my college quick start, because that's going to provide me with some really good information on what I did well in and what I needed more help with. Practice a little every day. They're linking me to the SAT question of the day, so I can at least see one question per day. I'm going to have some test taking tips here, some more practice questions. I'm going to need to practice the official full test. Um, go more in depth and get even more practice tests and then right before the test or before the test day gets here kind of take the simulator to see what conditions will be like on the day of the test. So here is an action plan. This is a good way to ease anxieties for students who are stressing or not sure what the SAT is all about, how to get themselves ready for the SAT. So that is the highlights of the SAT um, portion of the College Board app. Again, lots of other things, reminders um, for dates, date, late registration dates, how to get your test scores, all of those things are available. The second major part of the app that I would like to review is the College Planning app, and that is going to be the third tab here. So we're going to tap the College Planning app and take a look at the landing page. And this brings us to Big Future, which is the program the College Board uses to provide information about colleges, majors, scholarships, and all of those things. So we're going to scroll down here 
and lots of options again college board style the over they overload you with click with things to click and videos to watch um, but what we would really like to take a look again here is planning um, and school counseling planning is a big step so here we will go we are going to take a look at the make a plan option so easily we what grade are you in we can put our grade let's tap 12th that's going to take me to some detailed um, 12th grade specific things in it that the student really needs to be working on. So, oops. So let's take a look here with what they're suggesting, the College Board is suggesting. First, talk to colleges and teachers about, I mean, counselors and teachers about college. There's a video here, so you can watch a video from a counselor or an admissions representative from a college, and that's a good way to hear different perspectives. Um, check out student stories, hear what other students who um, were uncertain and how they made it and what things they learned. You can go to this program called You Can Go and watch videos there. And then find colleges, actually visit some colleges. Um, and they actually allow you to set up college visits through the College Board website. Um, more suggestions here, you can scroll down there, are actually seven pages of suggestions for a senior and seniors, high school seniors can use this app and click through those pages and actually complete those those steps. The let's go back to the college planning to um, tab here. I also wanted to demonstrate how to use the paying for college tool. That's here in the middle so again just tap pay for college. I hope. Okay. And here you're going to learn lots of information about financial aid. I like this because they simplify financial aid. They say there are three steps to find out what money is out there. So the student would just tap the three steps. And here they are. Step one, two, and three. This is really good information. Simple students um, should easily be able to find this. I think the steps are simple. They can come in here and click any of these blue links to find more information. Um, again, they can um, come over to the right and there are several other options there. They can search college by financial options and the percent percentage, um, the average percentage of students whose need was met by the college. You can hear a story from students and several several students about how they got aid and how they afforded to pay for college. So these are really, um, really good tools for students to use. The interesting and the convenient thing is when you check out a college, you have the option to add it to your My Colleges section here. That way next time you can just click there and your college is there. You don't have to search for them again, as well as the steps of your plan are all stored right here. To get back to the main page of College Board, anytime you click College Board up in the right corner, um, and here we are back to the beginning. Again, we have our tabs that can get us, guide us around, or things here on the home page. That's just a summary of the many, many things that you can do on the College Board app and the how-to. Um, I hope you enjoyed and can think of many ways to use this with your students. Thank you.